Some crimes are so serious that local police departments are forced to hand over their investigation to the feds. The FBI has jurisdiction over violations that contain thousands of federal crimes. This has made them extremely popular among film creators as they are seen as the ultimate force when tackling evil individuals or organizations throughout the country and overseas. In today's list, we're taking a look at the top 10 FBI movies of all time. Number 10. Public Enemies Everyone loves a bad boy, or at very least, is fascinated by them. This was certainly the case with the real-life gangster John Dillinger from the 1930s. Johnny Depp starred as the charming criminal in the 2009 film that chronicled the time J. Edgar Hoover made Dillinger his very first public enemy. A top FBI agent called Melvin Purvis is sent to bring Dillinger in, which quickly becomes an action-packed game of cat and mouse. Johnny Depp got very close to his character after visiting the John Dillinger Museum in Indiana. He read his letters and even tried on his trousers. What took the experience one step further was driving a 1932 Studebaker that was used by Dillinger as a getaway car following one of his bank robberies. Number 9. Face Off Although the plot of this film is somewhat far-fetched, it captures the essence of what makes a good FBI movie. The agent will go to any length to get their target. Face Off follows the dedication of an FBI agent who quite literally swaps faces with a dangerous terrorist to foil his plot to blow up Los Angeles. The film was a commercial success, earning $245 million worldwide. This was down to the blood-pumping action and the incredible performances from John Travolta and Nicolas Cage, who worked closely together to mimic each other's mannerisms. Number 8. The Town Ben Affleck is known for stopping crime as the Caped Crusader, but in The Town, he plays Doug McRae, who is the leader of a bank-robbing gang. After finding out that a female bank employee he once held hostage is living in the gang's neighborhood, Doug's intention to find out everything she knows soon turns into a romance that threatens her life. Things only intensify when FBI agent Adam Frawley draws closer to identifying the gang members and those associated with them. Not only did Ben Affleck star, but he also directed the film after Adrian Lin fell out of favor with Warner Brothers executives. Remarkably, Jeremy Renner decided to surround himself with real convicted bank robbers to perfect the role and the accent. Number 7. Sicario Kate Maser, a dedicated FBI agent, is tasked with the job of stopping the escalating drug war near the U.S.-Mexican border. Sicario was applauded for its honest and gritty depiction of the violence happening as a result of the criminal activity. Drug cartels, murder, torture, safe houses, gunfights with law enforcement, this movie has it all. The film stars Emily Blunt, Benicio Del Toro, and Josh Brolin, although the latter almost didn't appear following the filming of Everest, which left the actor exhausted. Eventually, cinematographer Roger Deakins persuaded him to join the cast after expressing how perfect he would be for the role. Number 6. Mississippi Burning In the film that addresses the racism of the 60s, two FBI agents are sent to a small southern town to investigate the disappearance of three civil rights workers. While trying to find out the truth, they clash with the local police and members of the Ku Klux Klan. The film is loosely based on the real-life murders of James Cheney, Andrew Goodman, and Michael Schwermer in 1964. On release, the film was heavily criticized by activists and the families of the real murder victims. Regardless, the film went on to become a success and was nominated for seven Oscars, one of which being in the Best Picture category. Number 5. The Untouchables In 1930, legendary crime boss Al Capone ran the underworld of Chicago with his numerous illegal operations that mainly consisted of the manufacturing of bootleg liquor. In an attempt to take the kingpin down, FBI agent Elliot Ness teams up with the police to take him down, a task that proves difficult. In order to prepare for the role, Robert De Niro tracked down Al Capone's original tailors in Chicago and had them make similar clothing for the movie. The Untouchables did exceptionally well during the award season, earning a Golden Globe for the Best Music Score, as well as Sean Connery earning a Golden Globe and an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Number 4. Catch Me If You Can a young scam artist called Frank Abagnale Jr. manages to forge millions of dollars worth of checks while posing as a Pan Am pilot, a doctor, and a legal prosecutor. With police unable to pin him down, an FBI agent is put on the case to apprehend the brash 19-year-old. This cat and mouse movie stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hanks, and Christopher Walken. The story is based on the book written by the real-life Frank Abagnale Jr., who also makes a cameo as the French police officer who arrests Frank on Christmas Eve. Despite being based on a true story, Tom Hanks' character is fictional, instead being a combination of the top FBI agents who pursued him. Before Steven Spielberg finally got the job as director and producer, a number of others were also considered. 
David Fincher was the first choice, but eventually dropped out to do Panic Room. Next, there was Gore Verbinski, who also dropped out after hearing that Leonardo DiCaprio had to complete Gangs of New York before he could work on the film. Lassie Hallstrom was also in negotiations before Spielberg was named director. Number 3. The Departed Winner of three Academy Awards and three Oscars, including Best Motion Picture and Directing, The Departed was an instant success on release and has since made it onto many critics' top ten lists. After the film won the Oscar for Best Picture, Martin Scorsese said that he was surprised the film had won, stating that he never thought about awards when making his films, especially those with tough and violent plots. This crime thriller, directed by Martin Scorsese, tells the story of a cop called Billy Costigan who has to go undercover to infiltrate a gangland chief called Frank Costello. As Billy gains the trust of the mobster, an expert criminal also manages to infiltrate the Boston Police Department so that he can report back to his syndicate bosses. When both sides realize that their organizations have been infiltrated, the race is on to identify and eliminate the mole. Number 2. The Silence of the Lambs Based on the 1988 novel of the same name, The Silence of the Lambs follows a young FBI agent called Clarice Starling who is taken out of her training to capture a deranged serial killer called Buffalo Bill, who is known for skinning the corpses of his victims. Out of her death, she seeks the help of a psychiatrist called Dr. Hannibal Lecter, who was imprisoned for his own cannibalistic crimes. Anthony Hopkins, who plays the sadistic Lecter, chose to never blink throughout the film. The reason for this was to mimic a crocodile or a tarantula when hunting its prey. Previously, cinema legend Sean Connery was asked to play the part of Hannibal, but he turned it down because the script was too distasteful. This psychological horror won Academy Awards in all of the top five categories – Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Actress, and Best Adapted Screenplay. The film grossed an unbelievable $272.7 million worldwide against its $19 million budget and is regarded as one of the most influential films of all time. Our number one pick is Seven. Police detective William Somerset, played by Morgan Freeman, is tasked with one final case before he can finally retire. Unfortunately for him, it happens to be a series of horrific and elaborate murders conducted by a serial killer who is choosing victims who represent the seven deadly sins. The film takes some surprising and chilling turns that lead up to an emotional and unforgettable scene involving a surprise package being delivered out in the desert. In 1995, Seven was the seventh grossing film of the year, earning $327 million worldwide. Its dark filming style, which was achieved by bleaching the film, was applauded by critics for its originality and how it added further gloom to the plot. Howard Shore, who wrote the score for the movie, was also responsible for composing the music for the previously mentioned The Silence of the Lambs. Director David Fincher wanted Shore because of his gift of creating eerie and powerful pieces. The movie was rated an 8.6 on a scale of 10 on imdb.com and received a meta score of 65 on Metacritic. Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.